Hey, what's up everyone? Today we're gonna to talk about how to take metahumans from Unreal Engine and bring them into Marvelous Designer in the easiest way that I know of, which is through the Live Sync method. It was released relatively recently, less than a year ago. It's a really quick and easy and fast way to get metahumans and animations from Unreal Engine into Marvelous Designer and back pretty quickly. There's a few little bumps and things to make sure you're doing along the way just to make sure it all stays straight, but it's really useful. It's been really helpful in my cinematics and my animations, so there's a little bit of setup to do but once you're set up it's easy sailing there's a lot of downloads and installs and plugins and settings to set up on the front end but once you do this it's pretty straightforward and easy going here's what we're going to be doing is just basically creating a little animation here of one of the metahumans kellen and then we're going to send that to marvelous designer whip up a shirt t-shirt really quick for him and texture that t-shirt really quick in substance painter and bring that back to unreal engine and it's going to be really quick because it's all live synced uh, except for the texturing process, there's a little bit. Yeah, let's uh, let's jump right in. All right, let's start from the very, very tippy top. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new Unreal Engine project here. Start blank, starter content, yes. All right, let's create. Check below in the description for the link to download the assets needed to set up the live link from uh, Marvelous Designer's website. There's a couple different links in the description below. One is the live sync link to download for Unreal Engine. And then there's also just the web page. Um, that is kind of a helpful guide. Feel free to tag along with that if you want to follow along these steps that I'm talking through in the video. So you'll go to Live Sync. So on the website up here, let's go to Get Live Sync. All right. So what you're going to want to do? I'm on 5.4, so um, I'm going to download 1.1.4. All right, now that we have downloaded our Live Sync version, that is for our Unreal Engine version, we wanna make sure we jump into the correct Unreal Engine version for that. And you're gonna to wanna to go to the file path installation directory that you installed Unreal Engine at. So for me, that is on my local disk, program files, Epic Games. Click in here. Engine, marketplace. And you'll see Clo Live Sync because I've already installed that. Um, but yeah, that's where you're gonna wanna drop it. Now that we're in our new project, there's definitely a couple different plugins and project settings we gotta set up. So first we're gonna type in substance because we wanna check the substance in UE5 so we can import the textures. Then since we're using metahumans, I wanna make sure that my metahumans, oops, metahumans are enabled. Yes, we do. And then last but not least, we wanna look up live sync for Clo for that one. And there we go, Marvelous Designer. And we got all three of those plugged in now, which is great. And then the next thing we're gonna go to is our project settings. And now in the project settings, we're gonna need to set up two things. The first thing is scroll down to your platforms and click on the Windows tab. And we're gonna change our default RHI to Direct 11, DirectX 11, there we go. And then the next part, we're gonna search up here for transparency, transparency, and we're gonna enable order independent transparency. Boom, bang. Okay, and then we're gonna restart now. Now that we're back in Unreal Engine, I'm going to add my MetaHuman here. Now I've imported my MetaHuman. So here's Kellen, and because we're gonna be making some clothes for him, he's in his skivvies. We've got him in his underwear and his sandals. And so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just create a new level secret. And then let's go ahead and add our boy Kellen here. Okay, and he already comes with a control rig built in. I want him to start like this. So let's put a keyframe here. And then by this point, I want his shoulders to kind of roll down a little bit, just like they did in that other video to the keyframe there pull this one down too that's that a keyframe there there you go now our boy's arms move very slowly down now that we have that really simple little just arm movement happening let's go ahead and right click on the body and we'll go to create linked animation sequence great now let's pull that open now that you're in here, you'll see something, maybe you might notice something different. You might not, there's a lot going on, but we got a new little button up here. It's called Live Sync, boom, bang. So you wanna make sure that that's showing up. I don't like his hands like that. So the next step is we want to put this into Live Sync. 
So we're gonna go up here to window and make sure we have that the Clo Marvelous Designer Live Sync Editor. We wanna open that up. I'm gonna go ahead and open Marvelous Designer just so that it is open. This is definitely a crucial part. I see a lot of people in the comments on the Marvelous Designer Live Sync videos that are hung up on this. And if you've watched those videos and you've been in those comments, I've seen you. That's what this video is for, I've seen you. You're seen. If we were to import this right now, there would be a lot of bodies. So let me just show you what that would look like. We go to Live Sync. Live sync skeletal mesh. And then we hit export. And we come in here. Wow, look at that. There's like an alien thing going on. There's like four different meshes. They're all stretched out. Nothing, nothing looks right. Okay, so let's go ahead and delete this. Because this guy scares me. Your key is making sure there's no skeletal mesh here. You wanna make sure that this is just your normal body. This is not any preview, female, male. Nope, it's just your regular body and you wanna make sure this one is blank, and if you need shoes, sure, and you need your head, and you need the body. These are the three that you want, plus this guy up here. Okay, so let's save this. All right, now let's come into Marvelous. And now we got our animation playing real smooth. Look at that, boom, there's our boy. Let's just grab like a t-shirt. Throw that on our boy. Boom. That's our animation of the cloth. All right, so we've got our clothes on our metahuman. Made it all nice, you got what you want. You got a shirt, you got a pants, you got all the other stuff. Now you're ready to bring it back to Unreal Engine. So let's jump back into Unreal Engine and it's super easy. All we gotta do is go up here to our live sync editor. And we're going to click on this. I'm gonna click on this guy. Yep, boom, there it is. All right, that's our shirt that we made. So now it just looks static, right? It doesn't look like there's any motion to it. We're gonna save this as a geometry cache. If we minimize this, and we come in here, this can now be dragged in. All right, we've got our shirt in our project. So now let's go ahead and add it to our sequencer. There it is, our geocache. So now to make it actually move, because look, we're just play this, it doesn't move. So now we have to go up to here and we're gonna pick the plus, we're gonna add a track, we're gonna add an, uh, oh, excuse me, we're gonna add a geometry cache track. There we go. So now that we have that added, there's our shirt. And definitely the first few frames, it kind of like settled in, right? So we should probably start it right about there, but boom. Okay, let's say that you want to texture the t-shirt. If you want to add custom textures in an external texturing program like Substance Painter, you need to do all that while you're still in Marvelous Designer because as soon as you live use Live Sync to bring it into Unreal Engine and it becomes a geometry cache, it becomes a pretty much impossible to texture. So the best way to do it um, realistically is when it's still in Marvelous Designer, exporting an object or an FBX of the um, clothes and then bringing that in. The biggest point is to make sure your UVs are set correctly while still in Marvelous Designer. Um, so let me show you what that would look like. Got our t-shirt here. We come up here to our UV editor. We got our, so it's all one fabric. So let me just select all of this. And we're gonna fit this to UV1 and then we're gonna pack it in. Great. There we go. Now we have to fit. There. Now it's all inside the lines. Great, 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 great. Nice and packed. And now we're going to go to file, export the FBX. And we're not going to want our avatars. We want a single object. We want this thin. And we're going to weld it um, because we don't need any of all that other fun stuff. And we definitely want the unified coordinates. We'll take the diffuse and the normal. Um, it's in 4K if you'll notice, because that's how I like it. I don't want the joint animation or the cache animation. I just want the um, textures and the UVs. So, okay. I'm gonna open up our Substance Painter. Now let's come back in here. Our fabric, we're gonna go to our texture map here. Okay. Ugh. 
Why does it look like that? Um, probably because it's using repeat. So just change that to unified and everything looks a lot better. Normal map, let's go back in there also. Now, if we were to go back into Unreal Engine, into our live sync, let's bring in our avatars. And there's our shirt with all our texture on it. So if we were to click on it, let's see that all of that is now saved upon it. So let's save our geometry cache like we did again. Great. This one, this guy, let's add him to our sequence. Let's go to the top of our sequencer. Let's add in our geocache. Sometimes if it's doing that, it's probably the LOD. So come up in here, open up your texture and we're gonna force this to be negative one. There we go. Let's try this again. Boom. So that's live sync from Unreal Engine to Marvelous Designer um, with texturing involved also. Um, so I'm really excited to see how Unreal Engine and Marvelous Designer continue to develop live sync. It seems like it's really being pushed for by Marvelous Designer and they're the ones developing all the software for it. On the website for it, it's this one guy, Brian, who seems to be writing all of it. So please be nice to Brian. He's got a lot of stuff it seems like he's working on and trying to put answers up to everyone's questions. Um, but hopefully this was helpful to some people. Let me know um, if you need anything else from this. Uh, if you want to know anything else, let me know. But uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one.